Hey, it's your old pal Jack. How are you? I'm in the hallway. Look at that. Um, why? Because it's really hot in my room. And it's a little cooler out here. So, I'm more comfortable. Um, notice anything? Notice anything about me? I got a haircut. <laughs> um, Monday, I don't know if you knew this, but Monday was the first day uh, that uh, barbers, you know, and hairstylists uh, were allowed to open their shops. So I went to my friend uh, Pascal and uh, he gave me a nice haircut. So anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, what's on my shirt? What's on my shirt? Who's that guy? <laughs> you kids want some hamburgers? I'm grilling some hamburgers if you want some hamburgers. What? You want a hot dog? I don't have a hot dog. What? You want avocado? I don't have avocado. I got, I got hamburgers. That's what's happening on my shirt today. Um, I have a great book that I loved when I was a kid. I hope you love it too. It's called The Giving Tree. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. And I wonder what Shel Silverstein looked like when he wrote this book. What do you think? you kids. I'm gonna eat you kids. <laughs> Don't make me angry or I'll eat you. You kids. <laughs> Why doesn't he smile a little bit? <laughs> Don't tell me to smile. Would you like a hamburger? I don't eat meat. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, the Giving Tree. Let's see what this... I might... I, nah, I'm just going to read it. Okay. Oh, there's nothing to look at in here. Sorry. Uh, giving Tree. Right. Once... There was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day, the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. Wait, oh, there's his shoes. And there we can see <laughs> he's climbing up. And he'd swing from the branches. And he'd, he'd eat apples, like the apple cores falling down. Uh, 
Yeah, they would play hide and seek. Where is he? Where's the boy? Where? Where? Oh, he's behind these rocks. The tree won't find him. Oh, the tree found him. There he is. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. Did you ever do that? Did you ever take a little nap outside? It's nice. It's nice to do that. Find a cool spot on a hot day. The boy loved the tree. Very much. Look, he wrote a little thing. Me plus T. What do you think T stands for? Turkey? Tomato? Tyrannosaurus Rex? It stands for tree. <laughs> Silly. And the tree was happy. But time went by. Look what happened to the boy. Boy got a little bit older. Hmm? That's what it said. The boy grew older. Uh oh. Wait, there's two sets of feet, and there's, there's another heart, and it's still the one that says me and T. But this other one says me and YL. YL, what does that stand for? Yola Tango? No, Y. Young Love? Maybe, I don't know. Let's find out. The tree was often alone, sad, sad when you have a friend that doesn't spend as much time with you. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, Come, boy, come, come and climb up my trunk and, and swing from my branches and, and eat apples and, and play in my shade and, and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I, I want to buy things and have fun. I want money. Can, can you give me some money? I'm, I'm sorry, said the tree, but I, I have no money. I, I, have, I have leaves and, and, and apples. Oh, take, 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 take my apples, boy. Uh, sell them, sell them in the city. Take the path train and sell my apples. Then you'll have money and you'll be happy. It's the boy talking with the tree. And the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples. He gathered all the apples and he carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. 
and the tree. The tree was sad. But then one day, the boy came back and the tree, the tree shook with joy and said, come boy, climb up my trunk and, and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I, I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I, I want a wife and, and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The, the forest, the, that's my house. But you may, you may cut my branches, cut off my branches and, and build a house. And then you'll be happy. Boy's getting kind of old. <laughs> and so the boy cut off her branches and he carried them away to build his house all the branches. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could barely speak. C come, 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 boy, she whispered. Come, come and play. I'm, I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I, I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can, can you give me a, a boat? Cut down my trunk and, and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk. So, you know what that is? It's called an axe. And he made a boat and he sailed away. What do you think about that? You think the tree's sad? You think the tree's happy? And the, the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm, I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I, I have nothing left 
to give you. There's the boy, the tree, nothing left. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. But my, my branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches said the boy. My, my trunk is gone, right? said the tree. You, you can't cl climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, said the tree. I wish I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm, I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I, I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just just a quiet place to, to sit and to rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. <sighs> um, did you like that story? Um, it's a, it's kind of sad, but it's, it's kind of sweet also. Um, it's the Giving Tree. Remember that was the name of the book. And the tree just kept giving and giving and giving and to make to make the boy happy. Is there anybody in your life that gives and gives and gives and, and wants you to be happy? I bet if you think, I bet there's, there's some people in your life who are like that. And it's a real nice thing. When someone cares more about you than they care about themselves, that's a very special kind of friend to have. Okay, thanks so much for listening to the story. Thanks for being out in the hallway with me. And uh, come up with something for next week, okay? All right, have fun out there. Bye-bye. Where's the button? Where's the button? Oh, here's the button. Okay, bye.